Hello there and welcome to the Cool Beans television show, home of original content. Cool Beans, Cool Beans, party time, average the poor. I'm Chris Arnold. And I'm Manflu Jim. Manflu Jim, Manflu Jim, party time. Shut up Chris. Coming up on the show today. Omelette making masterclass. A guide to DJing. An interview and live session with Bison. And some other stuff. <laughs> Now on the first half of today's episode, we're going to be running a little competition called the Green Screen Challenge. Green Screen Challenge, Green Screen Challenge, party time! Oh god. Now, here is a photo of me in front of a green screen. All you need to do to enter is to use your mad Photoshop skills, that's skills with a Z, and simply add a background to the image. Send it in and we'll select our favourite. The winner will win this packet of hobnobs. Ooh. Well, now it's time for omelette making masterclass. <coughs> Hi, welcome to the omelette making masterclass with me, famed celebrity chef Chopper Bling, and my assistant, Creepy Joe. Today, we're making the house speciality of omelette Stella Despair. First ingredient is three endangered black rhino eggs. A dash of pigeon milk from the Loire Valley, of course. Don't accept any pellet mutations. Some gourmet cheese. One of the special ingredients, a tramp sock. For a bit of crunch, season with conkers. And of course we know the first bite is with the eyes, so for that glossy shine, shower polish. And the final secret ingredient, the tears of Creepy Joe. Cry for me, Creepy Joe, cry for me. That's it, cry for me. And of course we know that the tears of Creepy Joe are highly flammable, so for that flambe finish. Well, the entries for the green screen challenge have been coming in thick and fast. Let's take a look at some of our favourites. Here's Tom Becker getting his shark on. Ooh. Here's one from Paulie. Ah, very scary, very scary one from Paulie. Ah. Here's one from Dan Conant. I do like that one. And here's one from Proverb, a very saucy one from Proverb. I'm here with the legendary DJ Marky, and we're about to play something called Thumb Wars with Celebrities. Hello. Thumb Wars. Thumb Wars. Thumb Wars. With Celebrities. Now Marky's from Brazil, and in Brazil they don't play Thumb Wars, they play something called Slappy Hands, so we're going to play that instead. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we used to play this back in the day, like quite a long time ago, but it's really fun, it's really fun. I'm scared. Okay, let's go. So you have to look at me. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Oi. <laughs> yeah, you have to pull it. Okay, okay. Yeah? Don't let me slap. Oh. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to see this on YouTube, to be honest. Hi, I'm Sean Bean. And when I'm not busy being a bean, I'm watching the Cool Beans television show. I can't remember what time it is. Oh yeah, it's time for Fire Extinguisher of the Week. This week, it's Fire Extinguisher in B minor. I can't remember what time it is. Oh yeah, it's time for Fire Extinguisher of the Week. I tell you what, we've been blown away by some of the entries for the green screen challenge. Let's take a look at some more. Here's a really cute one from James Foster. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. Here's one of my head coming out of a rhino's bum. I'm not a fan of this one, actually. It's looks funny. That's just, from Grace. Looks just like you on the beach. Very harsh. This one from Matt Steer is like a dream come true, isn't it, Chris? It certainly is. But then again, so is this <coughs> one from Jonathan Tite. 
but there could only be one winner. Yes, there can only be one winner, and this one is actually animated. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. But who created it? And the winner is a man called Mark Leeming. Pop up pirate! Ah! Hello. Who are you? I'm Mark Leeming. Oh. Well, I guess these belong to you then. Congratulations. You know what? I love green screen. Me too. It can just take you to wherever you want to go. Go, 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 go. One minute I'm in outer space. Green screen, green screen. And then I'm on a giant face. Green screen, green screen. Swimming around with all the fish. Green screen, green screen. Hanging out in a petri dish. Green screen, green screen. The green screen waves me A green screen. Here I am in Amsterdam. Green screen, green screen. Hold on, make that Vietnam. Green screen, green screen. I can play left back for West Ham. Green screen, green screen. Or be part of the Wu Tang Clan. Green screen, green screen. The green screen waves the only way to go. Oh, 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 oh. He loves a green screen. Watch me soar on the back of a bird. Green screen, green screen. Or eat a blows of lemon curd. Green screen, green screen. The green screen life is such good fun. Green screen, green screen. Now no, Edmonds is my chum. Green screen. Time for a break. Hey Keith, what shall we do tonight? I fancy a tasty meat joint, some knockoff Native American tobacco, and maybe some, some DVDs from 2005. That sounds just like the ticket. If only there was a place we could go that sold and catered for all of our needs so we wouldn't have to go to, to more than one shop. Wait a minute. Have you not heard of Sticky Pete's Emporium and Grill? Sticky Pete's Emporium and Grill? <laughs> yes, down at Sticky Pete's Emporium and Grill. The one-stop shop if you like di DVDs, tobacco, bleach and meat at unbelievably low prices. And now also for a limited time only, Sticky Pete's Emporium and Grill will be stocking wheels, some plants. Is it local sourced and sustainable produce? Never you mind. Sticky Pete's Emporium and Grill, come on down and all this could be your... Hello and welcome back to the Cool Beans television show. We've been sent loads and loads of demos by budding DJs to see if we'll review them. Yes, well, let's start off with this by DJ Brian Berger. This is his drum and bass and jungle mix. That's incredible. Very good. I've got a minimal techno mix from Sven Svensson. Wow. Thanks for that. That's about as minimal as you can go without it just being silence, literally. Up next, we've got our house mix from DJ Brickwork. It's a bit heavy for me, that. It's a bit too heavy. I'm blown away. This generation has such talent. It brings tears to all of my eyes. Oh, hi there. And welcome to the Cool Beans Guide to DJing. Rule number one, you gotta get yourself the right clothing or nobody's gonna take you seriously. Much better. Now that you've got the look, make sure you get a DJ name that completely reflects your personality. Make sure that you've got the right equipment. You're gonna need your box in the middle, your spinny things, your earphones, your desktop computer. Now some DJ purists say that you're not a real DJ unless you can scratch. But everybody knows that scratching is really, really hard. So why not use a pre-recorded scratch that a better DJ has made and just pretend. But why stop at scratching? Why not pre-record your whole set? Then you'll be freed up to do other things. Things like... Uh, 
Why not go one step better and invite along a DJ who can actually scratch and just push him to the side a little bit? It's very important that after playing a song, you announce the artist, the name of the track, and the year it was released over the microphone. Here's one from Little Jimmy and the Flamingos. Track's called I Could Be Your Ham Sandwich. Came out in 1954. Now everybody knows that using an air horn sample improves whatever you're playing. <laughs> Now I almost forgot the most important part of DJing. Rave eggs! Rave eggs, rave eggs, rave eggs. Always make sure that you've got one or two rave eggs placed at the front of your box thing. Rave eggs. Because you know what the crowds say. Once they've seen the rave eggs, they won't stop moving their rave legs. Rave eggs, rave eggs, rave eggs, rave eggs. Now you've got the skills to pay the rent. Now go forth and DJ. On the news tonight, Dwayne The Rock Johnson reveals he was addicted to heroin as a teenager. Once he discovered wrestling though, he soon laid the smack down. Please! And now over to Big Bassy with the weather. Hey up, it's Big Bassy here with the weather. Been any weather this week, because I'm going to pub. As you can see, it's quite autumnal out, so it's a little bit nippy. If you're Nesh, stay inside. I'm just waiting for Barry. Oh, me and Barry, we go way back. Oh, I'm just seeing what weather's like in Antigua. Looks pretty nice, to be honest. Barry's going to be here any minute. Oh, it's getting a bit windy out here. It reminds me of this one time when me and Barry were down at park. Oh, we're a great laugh. This has got to be Barry now. Have I been sold PP what? I suppose I better get another one in. I get one for Barry and all. That'll be Barry! Barry, oh what? Barry, how's he get? Oh, get off all your daft back. Oh Barry, oh Barry. Oh, Barry, Barry. Hello, oh, missed him. Oh, where are you Barry? Oh look, it's a ladybird. Oh no, it's a berry. Berry sounds like Barry. Barry! It's been three hours, Barry. Barry! Oh no, Barry. Barry, Barry, you love me, Barry. It's Barry! It actually is Barry. What do you mean you're turning to your pigeons? Oh, it's... Thanks very much to Big Bassy there. Did you know that his favourite television personality is Noel Edmonds? I did not know that. Well, now you do. Great. Anyway, on the show right now, we have Bison. Woo! Yeah. Show us some nipples. Love you guys. Thanks. Love you too. Tell us a little bit about Bison. How long have you guys been going and what's the style? I'll answer that one. Um, we don't have any style. No style? No. Yeah. It's kind of across the board, really. Yeah. We've been together about uh, 10 years now, mm -hmm. a bar that sort of gap when I ran away. Oh, really? For a couple of years, yeah. Where did you go? I went to Spain. Yeah. On the run from the police, or? Uh, no. Oh, good. My girlfriend. On the run from your girlfriend? W with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We hear that people often compare you to a young Noel Edmonds. Yeah, I've heard this as well. And we've actually got a picture of so we just I think should we compare is this? Yeah. Is that fair? I think it's quite Hmm. Hang on a minute, let me try and hang on, I'll try and look austere like his. So what's the strangest gig you guys have ever played? We did a gig in Wolverhampton at a pub called The Bear. Yeah. And there was this dude who came on just before us and did some sort of performance poetry. Um, 
in a like, in a sort of really aggressive manner about shopping. Yeah. And it kind of went something like shopping, 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 shopping. Shut up. <laughs> and uh, that was quite weird. It's like a kinder egg. Ah. Surprise. Thank you. It's more where that came from. It's a surprise. Oh wow. Oh wow. Thank, Thank you. you I don't think we've ever been given. Yeah, yeah, this like, is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, we're very fortunate enough to have a live performance by you guys in the studio in about 20 seconds. What's the name of the track and what's it about? Uh, it's called Barry's Bar and it's about a hypothetical bar. Barry's Bar is not on the high street. It's round the bend and over the hill. And I draw you a map so you'll find it. But I'm hoping that you never will Barry's bar is a boat full of sailors Who've forgotten what port they called home So they hardened their hearts And burned all the charts And hoisted the old skull and bones Round here Everyone knows their place Round here We don't make no bones Cause every glass hides a face So don't you know where you are We're gathered around Barry's bar And the carpet is threadbare and blood red And the wallpaper's faded and stained and the pool table's pockets are empty And the jukebox holds nothing but pain And there's an old fruit machine in the corner That winks like it thinks you might score Three bells for the hour Three cherries all sour Three bars on your prison cell door Round here Everyone knows their place Round here The music just moans Don't come near Cause every glass hides a face Girl, don't you know where you are? We're gathered around Barry's bar And the bar staff don't laugh, they just grimace And the landlady's clammy and pale And the landlord tells old jokes and stories That are vicious and mean like the ale And the customers, they're all just waiting For the bell that they all know must chime Because even in here, what the drinkers all fear the unbearable calling of time Round here Nobody knows your name Round here We ain't got no homes Don't come near Cause every glass hides a face Girl, don't you know where you are? We're gathered around Barry's bar